What's up, math fans? You ever get thirsty? Let's say you're at the movies or even at the store and you buy a soda, right? In fact, let's say you buy five sodas and they all happen to be the same size. So if you're at the movies, let's call them medium. I buy five medium sodas and my friend buys two large sodas. This could also happen at McDonald's. It could happen anywhere, right? So I'll say it again. I bought five medium. My friend bought two large sodas. What would I, how would I describe that whole situation? It would not be a good idea to say we bought seven sodas. It's better, especially in mathematics, to be specific. I would still say five medium, two large. Don't say seven. Don't put them together. Don't combine them. They are not like terms. And the point of this video is to get comfortable with combining or putting together like terms. Um, so when I'm adding polynomials, I'm basically looking for like terms. Adding it's, it's so simple a concept, but it gets confusing because sometimes when you're adding, you're actually subtracting. And that'll come up in a minute. Um, polynomials, poly means more than one. Nomial is like a term. It's not just a number. It could be a number and a variable. So here's an example of a term. This is a, there's a coefficient, there's a variable, and there's an exponent. There's three things going on here, but it's all one term. If it's connected, see how the three and the X are connected? It's really connected by multiplication. If it's connected by multiplication or division, it's still considered a term. So when I look for like terms, they have to have the same variable and the same exponent. Coefficient could be different, of course, but they have to have the same variable and the same exponent. So in my soda story, these would not be like terms. Even though they're both soda, they, one is larger than the other. It's almost like saying this is my x and this is an x squared. They both have x, so it must be like terms, right? No, a very common mistake I see is, I don't know, somebody will say, what's 2x plus 3x squared? And people will be like, oh, I guess that's 5x squared. No, oh, my, my mistake, my mistake, that's 5x to the third, right? No, you're not fixing anything, you're making it worse. They're not like terms. If they're not like terms, don't try to put them together. Stop making up an answer to a question that shouldn't have been asked, okay? Leave it alone, that's like cats and dogs. Don't shove them together. They don't wanna be together, don't force it. That's a life lesson, don't force it. All right, let me get rid of this. Let's do some math. Look at number one, five plus negative seven. Are those like terms? Yes, they're both considered co constants. In this case, they're integers. So five plus negative seven. Notice, there's a plus sign in the middle which tells you you're adding, you're using the rules for addition. But when you're adding and the signs are different, this five is positive, this seven is negative, you actually subtract, you get two, take the sign of the bigger number. If that was too fast for you, use a calculator. Five plus negative seven, you'll get negative two. Um, rules for adding are different from rules for subtracting. I'll get into subtraction another time. So even though I subtracted, this is not a subtraction problem. Don't mix that up. Next, 5x plus negative 7x. x represents an unknown, so it's like saying 5 times the amount of apples I have plus negative 7 times the amount of apples I have. Are these like terms? Yes. Why? The variable is the same, the exponent is the same. There is no exponent? Yes, there is. There's a hidden one there. So they are the same. They are like terms. You can combine them. What do you do? You keep the like term. If you put cats and cats together, you still get cats. You don't get cats squared. Remember I had the sodas here? If I buy a medium and another medium, I have two mediums. It stays medium. So here it stays x. So that's negative 2x. Okay, there's one, here's two, let's go to three. Now I'm mixing it up. I got five X and eight Y. These are not like terms, they're not the same variable. Definitely not, the, they are the same exponent, but if they're not the same variable, don't, don't put them together. Don't tell me this is 13 X Y. That's ridiculous, don't do it, it's not good. Let's get this out of here. What you wanna do is eat the parentheses, is just saying I brought this to the party, you brought this to the party, but when you drop it off at the table, you're taking the bags away. So you can almost ignore the parentheses, you're taking the bags away, and you're putting all the good stuff together. So I would do this, I would just draw a line connecting my like terms, right? 
Oops, I missed. That's not like term. I would do this. I would draw my lines connecting my like terms. 5x plus negative 7x. Some people don't like that and they actually take this whole thing, put it underneath, and line up their like terms like that. I would just draw a line to my like terms here and my like terms here. 5x plus negative 7x, that's negative 2x. 8y plus positive 2y is 10y. Again, these are not like terms, so you're done. Don't try to combine them, that's it. Some people, like I said, prefer to line it up and they say, oh, I have a 2y, let me put it under my 2y. Oh, I have a negative 7x. Some people say, but that's a minus 7x. It's the same. If you subtract or if you add a negative, that's the same thing, you're going backwards. So I have a negative 7x, I put it under here. This 2y is positive, so make sure you show the plus sign and you are adding, it was an addition problem because of this plus sign. So I put plus in front of the whole thing to make it clear. 5x plus negative 7x is negative 2x. 8y plus negative, I'm sorry, 8y plus positive 2y, positive 10y. You can work down, you can work across, whatever works for you. That's combining like terms. I made it look easy. It might get a little more complicated if they just add a lot of terms. People look at it as like, oh, this is crazy. It's not crazy. It's just more terms. It might take longer. More tedious doesn't mean more difficult. In fact, if you want to stick around, I will put one on here that's a little more popular. They might give you something like, I don't know, 2x squared minus 7x. Uh, plus 5 plus 3x squared plus 7x minus 8 and they'll say add so that's your choice you want to line up your like terms like that or you want to just go across I think when you first learned this people would get colorful and they would say well put a box around this and this because these are like terms and put a triangle around this and this because those are like terms and put a circle around this and this because those are like terms. It helps to clear up your work, that's fine because they might even put a Y or, or an X to the third or whatever. So whatever works for you, get your like terms together, okay? Get your stuff together. Notice X squared, X squared go together. X and X go together, number and number, constant and constant go together. Do not put X squared and X together, they're not like terms. So I would just draw the line. I wouldn't do the circles in the boxes. It's too much for me. 2x squared and 3x squared is 5x squared. Negative 7x, positive 7x cancel out. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0. You don't have to put an x here. Don't put x. Some people say, oh, that's 0. I'll just put the x. If you just put an x, it makes people think that's a 1x. The answer wasn't 1x. The answer was 0x. Don't put anything. 0, 0. Gone. Somebody ate all the apples. No more apples at the party. Don't put an apple there. Plus 5, minus 8, that leaves you with negative 3. And there is your final answer. That is adding or combining like terms. Stick around for subtracting. Gets a little more tedious. Not harder, just tedious. And the reason I went through this is really because it's going to be useful when you're multiplying and factoring. So stay tuned. See ya.